very pleasant good afternoon and welcome to our noonday prayer this Easter Monday. We have now entered the e Easter season, and I hope and pray that you had a wonderful start on Easter Sunday. And so as we prepare for this first noonday devotion in the Easter season, let us observe a moment of silent prayer. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16 and beginning to read at verse 1. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had arisen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man, dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going on ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mark 16, 6 But he said to them, Do not be alarmed, for you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. Last uh, Saturday, Holy Saturday, I shared from Dr. Luke Powers' devotional book, Were You There? A reflection on the Negro spiritual, he never said a mumbling word. In this reflection, Luke makes a salient point when he writes, quote, Jesus was just present to the moment. He didn't say anything with his mouth, but said it all with his body. This is my body which is given for you, Luke twenty-two nineteen. That's what was said in the silence, end of quote. The interesting thing, my sisters and brothers, is that we will discover during this Easter season that Jesus continued to say many other things with his body, now his resurrected body. In our gospel reading today, the two Marys and Salome went to the tomb and discovered that Jesus' body was gone. But let's put it this way. They discovered a body that was not his. That of, quote, a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, end of quote. This image of a strange body, a stranger in the tomb, must have spoken volumes to those women. Imagine the surprise, anguish, and dismay it caused. So will the other experiences of the resurrection of Jesus be in the accounts we read in the Gospels. He shows up, yes, he speaks, yes, yet it is the encounter with his mysterious body that ultimately caught people's attention. Think of the encounter with Mary in the garden, with Thomas, and with the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. In each of these encounters, 
Jesus' resurrected body bore witness to the power of God in a way they had never experienced before. And today, Jesus continues to speak through his body, the church on earth, and through the sacrament of his body and blood, the Holy Eucharist. We are recipients of these sacred gifts. I do hope and pray that your moments of silence during the past Lent enabled you to hear and see God in new and profound ways, in your own being, in the experience of others in the church, and in the world. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Faithful God, as we go into the world shining with your light and your truth, help us to reflect your love in our families, our church, and our community, so that the world can witness that we are followers of Christ, and through that witness, draw others into your love and care. Amen. The mighty God and Heavenly Father, we bless and praise your name on behalf of all who are sick. And we give you humble thanks that you have been pleased to deliver them from sickness. Grant, O oh, gracious Father, that by your help they may live in this world according to your will, and be made partakers of everlasting glory in the life to come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. My sisters and brothers, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and grant us his peace. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and our loved ones this day and throughout this Easter season, and forevermore. Amen. Do have a blessed, safe, and productive week. Sing for joy and sing. Ah.